Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So th I'm gonna be doing my my daily stuff, but um, actually, actually, I do have something to rant about with the game. Like it's, uh, I I, I don't I never wanted to <laughs> I never wanted to turn into this, but I, I I don't I really don't want the game to die. Like I just I'm just like really really worried because I I do think it's a really really it's a game with a lot of potential, and I've actually seen something similar happen before. Like it feels like deja vu all over again. Um, but I'm gonna be doing basically everything I, I do while I'm doing this. Let's, um, actually, we're, we're gonna switch things up. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a boss raid. Oh, wait, I never attack the arm. I'll, I'll attack the arm this time. I always attack the tail. I never ever attack the arm. Um, I'm gonna attack the arm this time. I just I'm, I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna wait for him to use his CC, and then I'm gonna pop my Owen transformation. All right. All right. So. There, there actually was um, some, something like just uh, coincidental. I think happened. Um, I actually met a friend that actually played the game as well, like that played Lineage um, in Taiwan, and he he told me that he was actually playing. I, I didn't I didn't actually know that he he played the game. And um, you know me with my content and everything being in English, it's like I don't I don't really have a Taiwanese audience, so probably people in Taiwan that play this game probably don't really know me. Um, but I I do like um, I, I I've actually just he's like a really really casual player, not not really um, playing like really seriously. He's just basically going on farming, um, just you know playing randomly like a casual player would and that actually brought up a few things that I didn't I didn't consider before when I wrote like when I wrote that long ass essay about everything that was wrong with the game uh, there was like a few things I actually think I missed that I didn't um, I didn't actually get to talk about because it was it was it offered another perspective for me because a lot of the people I'm t I talk to, like a lot of people that actually watch my YouTube videos and stuff, and I talk to them on forums and Reddits, they're not, they're actually not the casual players. Like those players are actually the, the more hardcore ones, like that would actually go out and do research um, about the game and would watch like content related to the game. Those are the players that are actually a little bit more hardcore, that are actually going to, um, you know, always like be ahead of the game and be competitive and stuff and do everything daily. Like the people that are I talk to on Discord, those those people, those aren't those aren't the real casuals. Like I think the real casuals, they they they're the people that um that would log on maybe once or twice a day, play for like an hour, you know, or not, maybe not even an hour, but just do a few runs of stuff, um, and maybe not even like use up all their daggers and stuff. You know, those those people I think are the are the real casuals. Um, why is this team up? Wait, what was I running? Oh yeah, I was running... Oh wait, I need to use him for physical defense. I could go triple armor break and just try to nuke down the boss, but that probably isn't going to work too well, so... Oh wait, I have I have the Black Knight. Why, why am I not using him instead? I should start raising this monster again. I think he's a really good physical tank. Um, but anyways, I think I'm getting sidetracked. The the actual players that don't like that are actually the casuals, and I think they're the majority of the b player base. Um, it's it's hard to get their opinions because they're not really vocal. Like they would just come and play the game. They won't really participate in forums. They won't participate in chats and stuff. Um, and which actually made me think, like, cause because before I I basically stated that the everything wrong with the game had to do with the guild battles, like the the guild battle system was was really really broken, um, and I I didn't actually think about like how a lot of the players, like the the, the casual people, they won't log on during the guild battle times to actually you know actively participate in the guild battles, um, but obviously there's the there's the the area battles, you know, the not the like, if you don't include the fortress battles, there's the area battles for, for guild battles. Maybe if they do change the system um, for the whole entire guild battles, then things will definitely be different. Um, but like, if, if the system is going to be very very similar to what it is right now, the the casual players they still won't be very happy. Like they'll they won't they won't really care because they they won't see that portion of the game. Um, all they really see is they. 
they join the game, they you know they do a few polls, they get some good monsters, um, some events come up, they do some events, get the event monster, and um, you know, and, and and then eventually they they get to the point where they can't really raise their monsters and stuff, and they don't know they they basically go um, end with the conclusion that the game is like pay to win, um, which I don't. I don't actually think the game is pay to win. Like the game is actually the opposite right now. Like my my problem uh, before was that the game wasn't competitive enough. That because the system was broken, anybody could literally be number one um, on the guild rankings, and that kind of destroys the whole purpose of players working hard or even spending money and trying to raise their team and making make them stronger. The that that was like kind of my point for the the whole video, but the there's another there's another side to that, and that is the the side of the um, just like the basics, like just your monsters, uh, the systems to to raising your monsters and get, gaining that overall, uh, you know, like just leveling up and stuff, you know, I, not not um, necessarily like leveling and levels in the game, but like you know raising the overall power of your team and progressing through the game. Um, and players need to need to kind of feel that like if they don't they don't feel like they're they're getting any stronger then um, then they they obviously would would quit at some point. So I think the the system itself um, might have a few problems for for people that are more casual and that aren't like that aren't like super super um, hardcore. I, well, I wouldn't really say people are super super hardcore like I don't even consider myself super super hardcore I'm, I'm just I'm just playing the game um, I try not to waste my daggers and I I go through all my daily things and I basically like that's it there's there's no real um, like there's no I, I wouldn't say there's no there's no there's not that much effort I don't think um, if you compare it to how I played a lot of games before, if you compare it to how I began playing this game, like when I when I first started, um, I've become a lot more casual than before, and I I, I think even then <laughs> I, I would still be considered um, like I would still be considered like you know pretty hardcore for the players that are actually playing the game because I think a lot of people that play these mobile games they 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 won't log on and play for hours a day. Um, they'll basically log on for an hour and just, just you know, just maybe not even an hour, like maybe a few minutes every every once a few hours, and then they they do some things in the game, and then um, and then that's it. They don't they don't do anything else. So I I do think the the game has a lot of really good implementations for that, like the sleep system, um, and yeah, the sleeves basically help help the players that don't like always have the time to to um, keep playing the game and they can still like kind of progress and stuff but I it's it's um I don't know it feels it feels very difficult it feels very difficult for players to achieve any sort sort of fulfillment while playing it and that's that's one of the one of the main problems I think it's just uh I don't know I just wanted to want to um, offer that side of the 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 perspective as well because I think a lot of us that do watch like that like would be watching my videos that do participate in talking in forums to um, participate talking in channels and stuff they they're they're a lot more hardcore than anyone else um, so yeah I think I think when when making suggestions um, I think there's like I, I know I know there's the there's the uh, there's there's always the meme of you know the filthy filthy casuals, but um, the casual player base is actually the majority of the player base, and they they keep like I I don't I wouldn't say they keep the game alive like because the the ones that actually keep the game alive are the whales that like pay really hardcore, but the whales have no incentive to play um, to to go hard on on a game that isn't considered like popular or big or anything like that um, because that's sort of the sense of achievement as well because they like to be number one they like to be at the top and they want to you know they want to win basically but if there's there's no, no no point winning if um if the if your your game is not really recognized you know by, by other people so i think the like having a huge a bigger player base is always always better um and i think that's that's also very very important as well um for for any game so yeah, I think I think that was that, that was basically 
all I all I really need to say for the rant. Um, it was a uh, it was just pretty random. It was it was it wasn't really anything. It was just something that I I think I've um, I've missed. I think when I when I was talking about um, changes that could really really help the game. I think I think um, I don't know I don't know exactly. Like to to be honest, I don't know exactly what needs to be done because the these game system I don't think you can really change it that much. It's already pretty much set in stone. You can't be going going in and cha making changes left and right. Um, all really they can do right now is fix the the issues, like the really really big issues that are like really really wrong with the game. Um, and I think that's still a very very good step forward. Like I I don't I don't think. Um, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna do too bad. Like I don't think Lineage is gonna do too bad um, when they eventually launch like globally and stuff. I think because because they they pretty much will. Like they they kind of have to. They already translated everything to English. Like they they spent a lot of money on this game not to not to um not to go all the way basically. So I think I think Asia's kind of like they're really smart they're I think they're um, kind of using Asia as like a like a guinea pig just testing things out making sure everything everything does work and before they make like a global release or, or anything like that because I think the game actually does have the potential to to be on the level of like Summoner's War and stuff you know just like a really really popular game that um, that a lot of people play and you know company makes a huge like ton of money um, because everybody just spends a shit ton on the game because it's it's so recognized and you you basically you you get that sense of achievement when you show off to your friends and be like hey look I'm uh, I got this I got that I'm 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 a special snowflake or some shit like that um, but yeah I think they need to, they definitely cannot, like absolutely cannot, um, cannot fuck up with their, with their updates, like their upcoming updates, because I've seen something similar happen before, like I, I did mention a little bit about Deja Vu before, um, there was a game I played a while ago called The Division, you guys might have heard it, it was made by Ubisoft, and the, it was, it was a really, really similar experience, it's, it was almost like, exactly this exact same thing that's happening um, right here and what happened was the game was super super popular before like it was when the game first came out it, there there were like tons and tons of people playing like it was like the top streamed game you know on the day that it came out on twitch um, and like in a month or so like only only like uh, you know just uh, like I think not even 20% of the original player base was playing which means well you know the hype does eventually like for all games hype does die down and then people stick stick by the game um, but the game pretty pretty much died like it was it was like you know just a few percent of the or original player base that, that that came in and played the game but the difference between that and this is they they made their money because you have to initially purchase the game um, and I, I don't think Lineage has really made their money back yet. Like, they they must have invested a lot of money to to do this. Um, so I, I really I highly highly doubt that they they made their money back yet with just the the few months of purchase. And obviously they they will still make money um, in the future because you know if there's players if there's any amount of players then um, they're gonna have people playing. But I think the the problem with um, why I felt such deja vu was because the division was a game that was made super super well like visually gameplay wise everything it was just so perfect but there were so many issues um, in in terms of bugs in terms of I think the bugs were definitely fixable but like in terms of um, just I think inexperience basically like they they didn't know how to actually design a a MMO um, and I think it's this is one of the reasons why like why um, you, you see this like beautifully designed game like Lineage um, have all these huge huge problems. It's because NCSoft is not a company that makes makes games for like make makes mobile games. They're a company that makes um, MMOs or online games and stuff like that. So it's it's very very different. This is like their first time doing it. And my 
the one of the reasons why I have really high hopes is because they they've already started to like try to make changes. Uh, they they did make all these update changes, but they're not actual like fixes. These are just updates. Um, but they they have stated like the community has replied to the players and stated that they want to want to make changes and and um, you know make make things good again. And I think I think that's a really really big step. Like it it really does show the difference between uh, NCSoft and Ubisoft. It's just like their I think their attitude I think is is like is, is very very different. And that's why I have um, I have somewhat high hopes. I think it definitely will still be able to do very very well if they if they um, they don't fuck things up too badly. I just wanted to like also I guess kind of uh kind of end with a little bit of a warning like just don't pl please don't give them too much shit if they fuck up on the update on the 25th um I mean like everyone is really really anticipating the update on the 25th and they have stated that they're gonna make you know gameplay changes to the, to the guild system but they I don't think they um like you know like like myself when I left the when I actually left the suggestions and stuff um, in that long, long essay on the forums, I it's it's only been a few weeks, you know, and like before there was a lot of people that that have been you know openly vocal and stuff that that have talked about that um, all the problems, and it's only been a few weeks since then, so I don't think they can really um, make changes that fast, and obviously it like. Um, it's 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 kind of all right for them because even if the game like dies in Southeast Asia, the game will still have a chance to rise again once they make like a global launch. Um, so it's not like the end of the world. I think I think the main thing for me is I I um I don't know I I, I think I think I I really don't want to see um, the same thing that happened to the division happen to. Um, Lineage Red Knights, you know, because it was really, really a shame. Because it was the the game was so, so beautiful. Um, the, the details and everything, like when you, when you shoot the walls, like the tiles fall off, and just like I've never seen such such um, such great detail put into a game, and um, have them have such like huge, huge problems that it completely destroys the game. Um, and yeah, that was that's that's all I all I all I really gotta say. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. I still have pretty high hopes. I'm, I'm still having a lot of fun, but I think a lot of my my concerns comes with the comes with seeing everybody around me like slowly pulling away and and quitting the game. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm still gonna I'm still gonna keep making content. I'm still gonna keep. Uh, keep doing this for however long I feel like it. It's just, um, I think for my, my YouTube channel, I just, I just make whatever content I really do enjoy making. And I, right now I still really do enjoy the game. Like it's still, I still feel like I'm progressing. Like I'm, I'm not, um, at my full, like right now, if you just look at my monster box, like my pet box, I'm not at my full potential. Like I'm still raising my dragon and stuff. And I, I want to raise like a team that can like you know really really just hardcore like kill the raid boss in like one turn and stuff. So I'm still there's a lot of things that I I want to do um, in the game, but not a lot of people are able to to see all these all the parts of the game. And I think that's that's uh, that's that's all I wanted to leave you guys with. So I'm gonna do my summon and we'll we'll call it a day. All right. I don't. I don't want this to be depressing. I, I really do um, think that this this game does still have really really high hopes. But if if it does, if like like I think the worst possible scenario is they it like on the on the Southeast Asia server it completely dies, and um, they go back. They make a few fixes. They fix everything that was wrong, and then they make a relaunch for NA. But the, the disappointing thing is, like, all my money would be wasted or some shit like that. Um, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, if, if the server dies, I'm not sure if I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna make a new new account on an NA server or anything like that. Um, that would really suck, you know? Anyways, I think, I think there's a few boxes I can open. 
There was the um, this box and this box. All right, I almost have 20 times actually. I should be able to get in a few more days. You know the this guild box actually gives some really really good stuff. Like the materials are actually better than the actual guild wars. Nice. One sweep ticket. Or was is it a power up scroll? No, it's a sweep ticket. Yeah, one sweep ticket. My favorite. Yes, one one uh one gold coin. Love that shit. You know, you actually you you sell these gold coins and they give you quite a lot of gold. That's what they're used for. You basically you don't really do anything with them. You just sell them. So they actually do give quite a bit of gold. If you see my gold going up, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to sell the gold coins. But yeah, anyways, um, that concludes my my rant video slash doing everything I needed to do daily. I think that was a pretty good. I don't know, it felt refreshing. It felt refreshing to, to actually talk about all those things. Wait, I didn't open the boxes. Those boxes were, were from yesterday. I didn't open today's boxes. Oh wait, no, yeah, I didn't open them. Alright, um, wait, th this one actually has a better drop. We're gonna open this one first. Oh my god, nice! Man, this is so sweet. It's like 60 daggers for free. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, tiny dagger pouch, still still good, still better than nothing. Alright, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys have any like comments, I'm really really interested like to hear opinions and stuff. I think I think um, if you're really really concerned about the game, definitely do do leave something um, on the forums and stuff, and I'll I'll, I'll go and like upload stuff, you know. So so just so the the, the people that are actually like the community team and developers of the game can actually see a bit about like just gain some insight about um, what what the actual players of the game are, are thinking um, and yeah that's pretty much it that concludes my my video for today um, thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace out